Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you today. We have the Tuya Knife Hive 2. Two. Uh, I did not get the original one. I think they're still available on the site. I think you could still add it to the cart when I just looked there a little while ago. Uh, someone, will, I'm sure, will correct me down below if, if I'm incorrect about that. But uh, there has been a big change. Uh, primarily, it's, it's, it's really basically just the blade. Uh, the old one was a more conventional kind of drop point. The new one is a Tanto. I would assume that most of the rest of the things I say about this knife will apply uh, to the other one as well, other than the blade shape. Uh, 258 bucks, not inexpensive, but you're getting some pretty cool stuff. M390 steel, it's cool carbon fiber, you know, honeycomb sort of themed inlay, uh, which I think I think looks looks pretty pretty dang cool to be honest with you. Um, full titanium all that stuff uh yeah it's, other than that it's it's pretty much the same they're both the same price it's just your choice of blade shape uh i i'm really excited to get my hands on this one it's like i said i did not get the first one and now i finally get to check it out so uh let's talk some more about it how it looks uh like tantos hate tantos I, I i do like the way they look i do have to say and uh using them you know they're not that i'm not an anti-tanto guy i Used to say I'm Tanto neutral. I'm kind of becoming, I'm not quite a Tanto fan yet, but I am getting so I like them. Uh, and they look cool. And undeniably, this the scales in this look awesome. This is, it's really cool to do this carbon. It's not just like stuck in there. I always thought from pictures it was glued in. But then I saw from like individual little pieces that I saw from reviews and uh, and also verified myself. And now that I have one, yeah, it's it's just one piece of carbon that's glued underneath underneath uh so this is kind of like milling to lighten the, also lighten the knife up which it's not that heavy we'll get to that in a moment for what it is and um yeah and it's got all, it's it's kind of just a way to do the milling all the way through and then they just glue this piece of carbon in the back side it's just one piece i think it looks pretty darn cool you have the same thing on the other side continuing the theme which i know some people really don't like it when it the one the you know, the, the show side looks different than the lock side. Now this is, uh, it at least continues the theme over. There's no carbon here, but it still at least continues the theme over. Nice looking pocket clip. Uh, I really like the lock bar relief. Um, I think it looks cool. I, I usually prefer it when it's on the inside, but uh, but that looks that looks pretty cool. Uh, the black hardware looks nice, matches the carbon. Um, you've been continuing that kind of beehive theme on the, uh, on the pivot. Yeah, it it looks pretty great, uh, I do have to say. It's a, it's a very, very, very good looking knife. I don't think pictures really do it justice. It does come in two different blade finishes. This is the machine satin, and then there's also a uh, hand rub. Um, I will say from owning a, another Tuya, which I don't have anymore, but uh, I had a Tuya Kingsman with the hand rub and compared it to the satin side by side when I was thinking about which one to get at Blade Show. Um, there's not a giant difference. Uh, it, it's, it's worth it. You can tell the difference, but it's not a huge difference. But um, if you want a really, really, really pretty blade, uh, get the hand rub, but this is still really nice looking. Uh, nothing to really complain about there. As far as quality and stuff goes too, nothing to complain about. Um, Tuya Knife does a great job. They're very solidly built. They feel great. Uh, no blade play, no lock rock, none of that stuff. The hardware is really good quality. Um, nothing really to complain about there at all. And you get these cool little cases too which are nice now on the higher end two years, you get these nice plastic clamshell cases like a lot of the uh, mid techy knives kind of come with now. Yeah, you get your little cleaning cloth, a little card for Tuya Knife US. I'll make sure to link to them down below. Um, yeah, patent king, it, it's cool. You get lots of cool stuff in a very well-built knife, absolutely for sure. Nothing to complain about there. Let's do some specs and size comparisons before we get too much farther and I keep rambling on about a plastic box. You have a blade length of three and a half inches. You get a little bit more cutting edge than that, though, the way it's angled out. But how they usually measure it, it's three and a half inches. Uh, overall length of eight inches. Blade thickness of 0 0.15 inches. Handle thickness of half an inch. And a weight of 5.26 ounces. So it's not like a featherweight, but it's definitely right in that same category. And some other knives that we'll be pulling out uh, pretty soon. Some of your lighter weight, full size uh lighter weight full-size titanium frame locks uh size comparisons let's get to her we'll do our usual spider co sandwich first of all here's your spider co paramilitary two and your spider co para three see it's just a little bit bigger than a pm2 
not much so. And then uh, we're gonna go down a uh, titanium frame lock rabbit hole here because uh, uh, that's that's what you're gonna be comparing against because uh, it's gotten to a point, and we'll talk more about this at the end, but it's gotten to a point price-wise, these are the knives you're gonna be compared it against. We have a ZT0562 tie and your Chavez Ultramar 229. So yeah, it's, it's right about that same size as the 0562 tie. Maybe a little bit longer than the Chavez, but uh, definitely uh, not, by, not by much. And lastly, uh, we'll compare it against what is in my pocket today because it's the knife that I already, I carried this enough to review it, but I'm still reviewing this one too. Another Tuya, they send them to me at the same time. This is the Tuya Envy 2. So you see, it's quite a bit bigger than the Envy. So uh, keep that in mind if you're comparing between the two. Similar prices and all that stuff. So, uh, all right. Now, uh, talk more about this knife, the blade. Uh, it's pretty good. It's it's not it's not a thin stock at all. It's not too bad. I like that really thick tip on it, which you expect for a Tantum and the way they do it with this kind of get the compound grind and everything. Uh, it's 22 thousandths behind the edge. Not mind-blowing. Not amazing. Uh, but not bad. It does slice pretty good. Flat grind. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. It, it, the, the steel seems to hold up okay. I haven't gone through the whole testing thing. This is actually going on to someone else who's going to do all that stuff to it, uh, when I'm done with it. But, um, yeah, it's, a uh, it, it's, it's fine. I like the blade shape a lot. It's very useful. Um, it, but it's not like a mind blowing, like awesome slicer. I wasn't like horribly super impressed with it. Uh, but it came screaming sharp out of the box. And that's kind of what I found with two years. Usually they're they're not as as thin behind the edge as some of the others, but they still work great. And uh, that's kind of what I came to with this one too. Uh, no big, no big issues at all. It's just, it just wasn't like top of the charts. Um, as far as the ergos go though, it is excellent. Very impressed with the ergonomics on this. I think the thing I'm most impressed about is uh, that clip. The way they angled it is just perfect. It just lands right in the palm of your hand and you don't feel it a bit. Jimping isn't exactly the right place. Super comfortable knife to have in your hand. Uh, all this, all this hexagon stuff, it, it just feels like it grip. It doesn't feel like it's a, a problem at all. You know, it's it, it doesn't feel like it's going to, you know, tear your hands up or anything like that if you use it for a long time. Very, very, very comfortable knife in the hand. I do have to say, I was very extremely impressed by that. I really was. Now, as far as the carry goes, pretty good kind of typical you know it's uh not a super deep carry clip because it's a machine titanium clip and they're they're almost never deep carry so it's not super deep carry but it's fine i will say i do like that the uh the flipper tab is fairly small uh it's it's just big enough for what it has to do um your hand slides by it pretty easy there is all this jimping on the back of the handle but i didn't feel it a bit reaching in and out of my pocket so uh that might just be my hands but it it works it works pretty good it, it carries fine for a five and a quarter ounce knife which that's about like the other ones i compared it to i know chavez weighs way more than that and that's about what an 0562 tie weighs so i uh, can't really compare or can't really complain you know about that five and a quarter ounces is fine it carries really well that all that hexagony stuff is not underneath the clip so you don't have to worry about that slides in and out great the action though as you just saw is uh pretty darn good I am impressed by that. Um, that two knives action, especially on their their higher end Thai stuff. I did not take this one apart because, like I said, it's going on to somebody else. But I know my Kingsman and my Envy I had before. I had the original Envy. Uh, yeah, take it apart and and clean it and reoil it, and they are just guillotines. And this one is pretty darn close, even though I'm doing anything to it. Detent is nigh on perfect. I wouldn't mind if it was just a, a tiny bit stiffer, but uh, that that's me. Um, I think most people would prefer it just exactly like it is. Um, yeah. Really great action on this thing. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so my overall conclusion, what is it? Well, it's a great knife. Undeniably, it's a great knife. It looks cool. Um, very well built. As I said, materials are fine for the price. Uh, my only, my only 
drawback to it is uh, now at 258 bucks, which is what a lot of the higher end two years are going for. And in this size range, you know, you're competing with stuff like this with a ZT0562 tie. Am I saying the 0562 tie is better? No, it's different. I'm not saying it's better, but it doesn't have the name recognition, you know, that Tuya does. It's, it's kind of like, I think, uh, you know, when when Lexus came in the market and they were competing against Mercedes, like, were they as good as Mercedes? Yeah, but they didn't have the name recognition. And that's going to be something that's going to take some time for Tuya. And I hope they get through it because it, they are great people to deal with it, here in our U.S. representatives anyway, are, are great people to deal with. And it would, I would love to see them succeed and sell a lot more of these higher end knives because they do them really well when they go into these higher end knives. Like I'm, I'm saying really good things about this. I've already said really good things about the first Envy and now I have an Envy too. And I'm going to say really good things about this. And I said really good things about the Kingsman, another one of their high end knives. Uh, every one of their high end knives I've gotten, I've been very impressed with. I just, uh, I just hope that people actually give them a chance and, uh, you know, and go check them out because they are really well done. They just don't quite have that name recognition yet, but really good knife. I have a couple little quibbles about it, as you saw, but really good knife and well worth the price. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.